Hey, welcome to The Handmade Daily. Today's project is this cute little bow necklace. It's really simple to do. It's made out of ultralight Sculpey. It's going to be really light and it's going to be comfortable to wear. So I'm going to go ahead and give you your supplies list and then we'll get started. For this project, you'll need ultralight Sculpey, head pins, a Makin's Bow clay cutter, a toggle or lobster clasp, a chain, and jewelry pliers and wire cutters. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking a chunk of uh, this ultralight Sculpey, and it doesn't matter how big, just, you know, like a, like a good round size. Just condition it a little bit and uh, get it to where it's softened up, and then roll it between your palms um, to kind of smooth it over, and then just start to uh, flatten it out like a pancake. Press it down. Um... I know I'm using a, an awkward looking roller, but just use whatever works for you. I think this is like for um, making bottles cold, but it works really well. So get it kind of thin, but not too thin. And then take your clay cutter and put it in the center and use your entire palm and press down. That's how you get a good even amount of pressure. And then just peel it off and you can use your finger um, if you have long nails, use a paintbrush and it'll come out easily. And uh, these cutters can sometimes leave rough edges. So just kind of go around the edges, smooth them out and make it all nice and even. And then take another chunk of your leftover clay and about the size of one side of the, the bow and then roll it between your palms and get it nice and conditioned then start to flatten it out into uh, an oval. Um, check against your bow cut out to just to gauge how wide to make the piece. And then um, just condition it and flatten it until it looks like it'll fold over evenly and then pinch the ends together. And it'll fold over on itself, just um, flatten it out between your forefinger and your thumb. And the the shape that you're wanting kind of looks like a pea pod afterwards. But um, after you have this uh, little pea pod shape, go around the edges and smooth everything out to where it's a nice even oval with um, tapered ends. And then fold this piece over and pinch the tapered ends together and then press that into the center of the bow to kind of secure it. Um, just go ahead and make your second piece, uh, pinch the ends together, fold over, and then secure that piece to uh, the center also. You can use your finger or a pen, uh, whatever you want to use. Um, I'm going to use a sculpting tool for this piece. You can use whatever works, but you just want to press in between the tags that are hanging down, and you want to exaggerate that space between them so that you can um, do the the ribbon overlay to kind of tie everything together. Um, take a little piece of clay, roll it into like a, a skinny rod, and then kind of flatten it out. And then take that piece and um, secure it to the center of the bow. Just press down in the middle uh, really gently. You don't want to distort it. And then uh, again, I'm going to use a sculpting tool. You can use whatever works for you. You just want to work at an angle, work the clay into the ends and it's going to create the indention to give it that ribbon look. Okay, so after you have the bow finished, um, I'm going to use the sculpting tool, uh, pin, uh, crochet hook works also. You just want to brace against uh, the inside so that you can poke holes um, through it without distorting the folds of the bow. Uh, you want to use a head pin to poke holes kind of towards the top so that the chain hangs evenly. Um, poke holes through both sides and then cure to the specifications on the back of the package of the clay that you use. After it's hardened um, and cooled, I'm going to use this mint color just because I love it. You can use whatever color you want to, but just brush uh, an even coat of paint over everything. Uh, I think I used two coats of paint on this piece. So I went over it and then I let it dry. I went over it again. Um, then take a head pin, uh, snip the head off of it. I'm going to brace it between my forefinger and my thumb and I'm going to bend it over my nail to create this uh, 90 degree angle. 
And then using my um, needle nose jewelry pliers, I'm going to roll it over, use the center of the jewelry pliers to create this medium sized loop. I'm going to take the head pin and I'm going to go through the inside of the fold of the bow, um, press it, just don't, don't force it, and then use the wire cutters or your uh, jewelry pliers to pull it through. It was a little bit long, so I'm going to snip the excess off. You want about half an inch of wire. And then um, use your jewelry pliers, uh, hold on to your piece, and then take them and bend it uh, at an angle. And then again, using the like midway through the jewelry pliers, um, just fold over slowly and create these loops. You create them from the inside and the outside, and it makes it really sturdy. Um, and it'll attach wire really easily. It hangs evenly. So I've, I've measured um, a piece of chain, about eight inches. Just use two jewelry pliers and um, open up one of the links attached to one side of the bow. And then um, measure another piece, the same length. Uh, again, I'm gonna use a, another eight inch piece. Um, attached to the other side. Now I, I wanted mine to sit at about between 16 and 18 inches. Um, so I'm going to take my jump rings and I'm going to attach a toggle. If you want it to be adjustable, um, attach a lobster claw and make sure you use chain that uh, has links large enough to where you can work the lobster claw into so that it will be adjustable. But um, I'm using a toggle just because I, I know where I want mine to sit and I had the toggle laying around so that's what I used. Now that we've got the toggle attached we are finished with our bow necklace. Make one for yourself or give as a gift. Hey I hope you had fun with this project. Go ahead and subscribe to the Handmade Daily channel for more tips, tricks, and how-tos.